Hello, my name's Ian Moore. I'm here today to talk about tyres. They're probably one of the most important parts of the whole car because these are going to keep the vehicle on the road. So, there's a few things about tyres that people get a little bit confused with, but if we start first of all with the tread depth, that's probably a really crucial part of checking the actual tyre. Now, in the UK, the minimum tread depth is 1.6 millimetres, um, which is really easy to check. Um, and the easiest way to check is to have a look at the tread bar or the tread wear indicator, which is actually built into the tyre. This is the tread depth indicator that you'll be looking for just here. Um, and that's usually set at 2 mil on most uh, new tyres. Really easy to find. Um, this part here is actually raised up from the rest of the tyre. And so therefore, if the tyre wears down to that point, um, then it will need changing. Um, usually we'd recommend changing them between 2 and 3 mil, ideally at 3. Um, the main misconception is why the tread's there in the first place. A lot of people say that the tread is there to gain more grip. Um, good answer, um, however, the actual real reason is that it's to gain more grip in wet conditions um, and the main reason for that is that it helps displace water. Of course, without that, what happens is the whole tyre would place against the water and it, the water would have nowhere to go. And that process is called aquaplaning. So we want to try and avoid that on the road, which is why your tread is really important. Um, we're looking at the central three quarters of the breadth of the tyre as being the legal part which needs to be checked. Another really important part to consider on the tyre is tyre pressure. Most commonly is when the tyre pressure is too low. And what happens with that is um, you have a big increase in the sides touching the road and there's uh, an increase in um, the fuel consumption used because the tyre drags along the road a bit like a flat tyre would. And of course this also has problems with handling of the vehicle, much more likely for the tyre to come off the rim. Um, the opposite of that of course overinflation, another common thing that we see um, and that's where the centre part wears a lot more because of course that's in contact with the road. Great for fuel economy but really really bad for road handling because what that means is only the centre part is touching the road really well and the other parts aren't quite so much because um, of the overinflation. So checking your tyres on a regular basis can help you save fuel but also help you make sure that the tyre wears in an even fashion. Sometimes um, this can also be a good thing to look for in terms of tracking, where the inside of the tyre or outside or centre of the tyre wears more. Sometimes that can also be down to tracking itself. Another thing to check, and this is why the wheels are turned, is making sure you're checking the inside of the tyre all the way around because sometimes you have wear on the inside very difficult to see, particularly on the back tyres, which is why we've got these turned at the moment. Um, really important that the valve cap is fitted back on as well. Uh, main reason for that is to keep the actual air inside the tyre when it is there. Um, without that, obviously you're much more likely to lose air, so ensure the valve caps are, are well fitted. Should be no cuts or um, bulges inside the tyre, really common thing to see. Much more likely to be blown out as well. Don't forget to check these on a regular basis. The, each tyre from your perspective as a driver is worth three points and sixty pound fine and if you start adding that up it starts to cost you a lot of money if you were pulled up